Hello, I want to show you how 2022 theme works. This is a block theme or a full site editing theme. I can't explain everything in one video, but I can help you get started. I've already got five web pages and four blog posts and I've set a static home page. So my first job now is to set the navigation bar. To set the navigation bar, I click the Edit Site button. Then I click the big W and I want template parts. And I'm going to edit the header template part. There's already a navigation bar in the header, but I need to change it so that my links look right. So I'll select, then I touch select menu create new menu start empty I click this icon the plus icon says add block and I can search for my pages so I want to start with home it's found the home page I select it I press the enter key and search for about Select the About page, press the Enter key again, Services page, and select the Services page. On the Contact page, I'll press Enter again, search for Contact, and that's the Contact page. And I've got Blog page, so I'll press Enter key again, search for Blog, and select my Blog page. I want to save and save again. Now I want to name this navigation bar. So with the navigation block selected, scroll to the bottom, advanced, and I can name the menu. I call it my main menu, but name it something you will remember because you'll need to use it later on. Click save save so go back and see what we've got back to the dashboard view the site so now we've got the menu in order on the pages and the blog page has been automatically assigned this special blog template now what I want to do I want to change the template that is used for pages. So when I'm viewing a page, I can click edit page and in the block sidebar, there's these options here. There's a template, expand template. You could choose a different template from here what I want to do, I want to edit the default template. So I click the edit button. When I edit this template, it will affect all of the pages that use this template. So this section at the top, I want to select it. Then I use the list view. I want to remove the header. Remove template part. And I want to replace it. So but the top group, the very top group, I want to insert before. I'm going to use a pattern. So toggle the block inserter, choose patterns, and I want headers. Explore. And I'm going to use this one, which is header with image background and overlay. Now, the navigation bar, I need to select the navigation bar I made in the previous step. So I select the block, select menu, and I called it my main menu, so it's easy to remember. And that's inserted the navigation bar. Click update, save, and go back. I can view the page.
So now pages have got this header. But I want to add it to blog posts as well. So if I view a blog post, edit the post, I've got the WordPress settings sidebar open and under the post tab, this is not the block tab, this is the post tab, you've got template and I'm using a default template for single posts, but I want to edit that template. And I want to select this top section. Then I want to select the header. So use list view, select the header. I'm going to remove the header. So I want to remove template part. Now the very top group, I want to insert before. I want to use pattern, so toggle block inserter. Choose patterns, headers, explore. And I'm going to use the same header, header with image background and overlay. I want to change the navigation bar again, so select the navigation bar, select menu, and I want my main menu, which is the menu I made previously. Now the links are all in order. Update, save, and we'll go back, visit the site, and now the pages have got this header and individual blog posts have got that header. What I want to do now with the front page, I want to change the template this front page is using. I view the front page, click edit. I'm now editing my front page and I'm in WordPress settings, not the block tab, the page tab. I scroll down to template and I want to choose page large header. Update and then edit. Now here I can change the text. Another thing I want to do is to select the whole block to use list view again and I want this group here the very inside there's dark header large then there's the group option and I'm going to change the color change the background color to green so it matches up with the other pages I've made update save now to go back and view the site Now my home page has got this new page header. I want to do the same thing for the blog page. So if you click blog, edit page, I want to click the edit button here. Once again, WordPress settings, page, template, edit. I'm just going to change the background color to green. So the easiest way using list view on this very first group, change the color to green, update and save. And go back, visit the site. And now we've got the green front page the inner pages have got this nice header. The blog has got this green color and the individual blog posts have got this nice header. Now I want to replace the footer. So once again, I want to edit the site. So I click the edit site in the admin bar. I click the big W and I want to change a template part. 
I want to change the footer template part. I'm going to use a list view, select that group. I'm going to insert before. It's easier if I insert a new footer above this one and then remove the old one. It's just an easier way to do it. So I'm going to insert before, use the block inserter, patterns, footers, explore. And I want to use this one. It's called footer with title, tagline and social links on a dark background. Now you need to change the links in these social icons. Just change a the link there. What I need to do then is to remove this bottom block. So I'll use the list view again, choose that group and I can remove the group. Save and save. Go back. View the site. And I've now got this footer and that's at the bottom of all the pages and all the posts. Now if we click one of the pages, this about is a bit near the top and the gap at the bottom is a bit tight. So what I'm going to do is edit the page, I'm going to edit the template, and I'm going to use list view to find the group that contains all the content. So this is the second big group. Then in the padding option here, if you click this button, it opens up the full padding option. So I want top padding to be 75. Right, I'm not going to change, but bottom, I'm going to add 50. So I've got top padding 75, bottom padding 50, update and save. I go back, visit site, visit one of the pages, and we've got some padding there. You can do the same thing with the blog posts. So if I choose one of the blog posts, it's a bit tight at the top. So I'll edit post. Once again, I'm in WordPress settings, post, I'm going to edit the template, list view, choose the second group which holds the content area, and I'm going to add some padding. So I'll open up the full padding, 75 and 50 for the bottom. Update, save, and if we View the post. Blog. View one of the posts. And we've now got some padding there. Now, when you're doing this, at some point, you're almost sure to break a template. So what you need to do, if you go to edit site, click the big W, and then templates, can you see this little blue button that says this template has been customized? And when you see that blue button, you know that your template has been customized. And if you click these three dots, you can clear the customizations and that will revert the template to how it was before you started to make your changes. And that works with template parts as well. So the little blue button template has been customized. If you want to revert it back to the original, just click clear customizations. Well, that's it for this video. I hope it's given you some idea of just how different the 
new block themes are. I could only tell you a little bit in this video, but I hope it's got you started. I'll make another video showing you some more useful tips. So thanks for watching and bye for now.